Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome to another episode on my channel where we give you Mercedes how-to videos and other cool car videos. Welcome back guys, this is part two of a four part video series on roof racks. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a wind deflector or they also call it a wind fairing. So the cool thing about the wind deflector is it actually allows wind to pass above your roof racks. If you don't have a wind deflector, you tend to get a lot of noise and also whistle, uh, whistling noises. As always, I'll leave links in the description below on where you can buy this product. Let's get to the install. So here's the Thule wind fairing. I put a Mercedes Benz decal because I think it looks cool. But um, go ahead and install all the accessories. These little foot pieces are rubber and they just snap in. And these black pieces are held on by trim screws that push right in. So this is the clips for the crossbar. This is what is used to mount the fairing to the crossbar. And this is the arm. There's a circle on the top and a hex on the bottom. You want to attach this to the crossbar clips. Open it up, slide it right through. And next, you want to turn it around and insert the hex bolt. And on the other end, you want to take the gray adjustable screw cap and screw that on. You don't want to screw it on too tight. You just want it tight enough that the arm and the clip will hold together. Now that all four are assembled, you can go ahead and attach them to the wind fairing. So to attach it, all you have to do is open them up and they'll clamp right down on these little balls that are attached to the fairing. So once they're attached, you just want to tighten the knob a little more just so it holds in place. You don't want to tighten it all the way because that knob is gonna help you adjust the fairing uh, for a certain angle or height on the car. So go ahead and install the rest of the clips. Now you can go ahead and install the fairing onto the crossbar. The clips on the fairing will clip right into the crossbar. Most of the times these clip would clip right into a crossbar, but the Mercedes crossbar is a lot smaller. So as you can see, the clips actually slide, which is not a good thing to have uh, when this is going on your roof and your cars experience high speed. So what I did was I drilled two holes on the top of the clip and the crossbar, and I'm gonna mount the actual clips to the crossbar with some screws. Now that everything's installed, you can go ahead and take the entire crossbar and the fairing and install it back on the car. Once it's fully installed, you can twist the gray knobs to tighten or to release uh, and control the angle of the fairing itself. And there you have it, an installed fairing on your crossbar. 